So in this video, I'm going to just give you a few understandings from my experience of using both of this method of installing biodigesters, the advantages and disadvantages of using either blocks or precast labs in your biodigester installation. As an installer, you are looking for a way whereby you will maximize your effort. So what is available is what you use. So blog is readily available and it's easy to use the notice mindset of using blogs in construction. So if you are new to this technology, then your obvious choice will be to use the blogs. And then that's why most of us started using blogs. But then blogs have a bit of advantage when it comes to digesters, mainly in certain areas or certain conditions or in certain situations. The soil carb that we are going to meet will determine the type of materials that you should use. If you go to a place and or it's waterlogged, it's clay, and the water does actually take a long time before you can seep into the ground or the earth surface, then your best bet is to use the prairie dust blocks. The experience is coming from the father. If you go to a salty place, if you use precast slabs, then a time will come it to just crack it and it to break it or it will just affect the shape and size of the digester. So then it's best to use blocks in such situation. Blocks are also important when you are doing your work in a waterlogged area where there is going to be a lot of water in the ground. Probably there is going to be a lot of water also in the soak hole which is going to take a lot of time for it before it goes away. So then that's where the idea of using blocks actually comes in handy. Now mainly from my experience those who use the blog works are the new installers who are also not that good at the business and are learning and then certain situations are supposed to use blog. So in my situation if I travel outside Accra in the regions, Edia Kumasi, Akradi, Cape Cruz or home, wherever I'm working and then I can't get the precast slabs, they are readily use blocks in those areas. So if I travel outside Accra then my best bet is to use the blocks. But if I'm in Accra and then I'm not meeting any clear situation and I'm not meeting any of those conditions that will, will not work well for the slabs then I will use the blocks. Now come to take of it if you are installer and you're in this business your business model should be based on the fact that or how many digesters can you install in a week? Let's not even talk about day, in a week or in a month. So if your business mindset is that, or you have jobs and you are supposed to do, and you're using blocks, then you have to cast the top slab. You have to wait two or three days for it to dry. And then you also have to lay your blocks and wait for it to be firm enough before you can do the inside bed and then lay of the filtration materials and other stuff. And then you have to take the top cover and cover it before you can go. So mostly that one will take you two or three days before it's done. But if you are using the slabs, just within a day and then you are gone. That's the advantage when it comes to the precast slabs. Some people have also argued and some people have come to me saying that you do not trust the slabs because then they think that the slabs are not going to last too well. But if a slab is done well, I've done a video of how to cast precast slabs. I'm going to leave the link at the top there. You can go have a look at it and see how to cast a precast slab. If it's done well, it must contain a wire mesh. It must have the quarter rods or iron rod in it, the three it possibly. It must have all the ingredients and it must use quarry dust. And of course, only cement to have it cast. That way it becomes firm and then it should be two inches or maybe two and a half inches. And you are not going to have any problems when you do that. The only problem is in it's not installed well and there are some holes around it and then water is sipping through. But and the idea of my digesters is that you are not going to, you should not allow water to be retained in the digester. If you are using precast slabs, it shouldn't be a problem. Unless, like I said earlier, the place is salty and then with time, it might just affect the size and shape of the bio digester or the slabs. Apart from that, slabs work best. They work well in all situations and it's not going to be a problem. So in my estimation, precast slabs work best one when you are in installer and two if you require a small space to install a biodigester. In some cases, we've gone to houses whereby it's a half plot or it's a full plot, but the owner want to maximize the land. So they give you three feet at the back of the house and then they ask if you can do a biodigester there. In that situation, if you're using that space, the obviously blocks will not work in that situation. That's where the breaker slabs come in handy. So the other truth is that the thin nature of breaker slabs do not make them less strong than blocks. If you don't well, break out slabs that contain your query dust, your wire mesh, your body wire, and then your cutter rod or three eight iron rods will work as well as a block that has been used in biodigester installation. The advantages of both slabs and blocks are not that much different. In any situation it can be used. I've used slabs in commercial jobs, I've used slabs in domestic works, and I've used blocks in commercial works and I've used blocks in domestic work and I do not see any difference between them.
subscribe to this channel if you are new here and watch the subsequent videos that we have the next video coming up will explain to you why you must consider by the guest installation for your next toilet wastewater management issue when when it comes to biodigester as the simple on-site biodegradable waste biodigester construction you are supposed to be looking out for three key things the inlet pipe which is coming from the house how many are there the number of pipes that's the number of toilet seats in the house then the outlet pipe for you which is where the, your wastewater will be going and then where exactly is that wastewater going and at what level is it going to drop if even you have a drainage system and you are piping your shape pipe that's your 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 black water into it you should know the level at which to get to that drainage system if you are doing it for a soak away you should also have an understanding of where the level that's the depth of the soak away as well and if you are doing it for a soak hole pit you should also have that one in mind in terms of how many feet you are supposed to go so like inlet pipes and obviously the, the 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 outlook of the compound the final outlook of the compound and what the homeowner is looking for will help you determine the level in which your digester should go from my experience most homeowners most high-end clients are looking for digesters that are buried they want the digester to be hidden they, they only want the top slab to show they don't want it protruding and showing some ugly places and spoiling the, the final outlook of the compound so if you do know what they are looking for somewhat two inches to show that the top slab and then they want to tile around it or they want to do something nice with it then you should make sure that you know that your outlet is on another level and then from there you can pick it from and know that where, where you are going is where you must go because if you have a soak away or a soak pit and it's not deep enough and you are burying a biodigester the wastewater will come back into the digester through the leche pipe because the level that you are going to get will not be enough for the water to disappear or seep into the herb surface so it's key your soak hole pit goes deeper and by going deeper are you meeting the the water table or is the water table less if you are hitting the water table you know there's water also going to seep from the ground and all these are some of the permutations that you need to know and understand when you want to construct a biodigester it's key because then if the inlet pipe is at an angle and there are two or three of them can, can they all come to that level and then you can fall in there nicely and then you know that you are safe as when you are doing the biodigester and that's one thing that i wanted to talk to you about how you need what you need to know when you are constructing a biodigester